Hey Ubers, welcome to Gratitude Friday. It's been, I think, a little bit over a week since I last visited with you here. Um, and I've missed you. Uh, I've just been a little bit busy um, with crafting and other responsibilities. But I wanted to share with you some of the projects I've recently done. Um, this is a trio of cards that I did using one stamp set. This is a Hampton Art Art Warehouse stamp set. Um, and you can get it on Amazon.com. I'll give you the link um, below. But isn't it gorgeous? It's designed by Danelle Johnson and it's um, identification numbers SC0038, Blooming Memories. Um, I was attracted to it initially um, for the uh, cherry blossom stamp on the top left. Um, that can make some really pretty backgrounds um, and help you create a card rather quickly. I also really like how there is a lot of solid area, solid inked area in uh, many of the stamps here. Um, the birds are quite elegant and the the blooms in the bottom right hand corner are al also have a lot of dark inked area and remind me of hibiscus. The damask shape um, right to the right of the sentiment bloom is also really nice and um, I've been using it a lot lately for um, uh, to create some elegant backgrounds. There's just so much detail in all of these individual stamps that together it makes um, quite a nice set to own. I love repeat stamping. It takes me to this sort of zen, mindless state, and it just, you know, it's so fantastic to see the inked image show up on the card front. So I've been doing that quite a lot with that damask shape. So I'd like to share with you some of the projects um, that I did using this stamp set. It was based on the ideas that I had introduced in my earlier video, One Stamp Three Ways. It was just It's just about making the most use of the tools that you have. For me, these ideas are very much about being very thoughtful about what you decide to add to your crafting stash um, and really utilizing what you decide to add and also what you already have. Um, I mentioned in that video that it, it really helps you um, spread your crafty wings and fly in directions that you might not normally go in, but um, will also help you grow as a crafter, um, develop an appreciation for styles that you're not familiar with or capable in. Um, and another great side effect is that, you know, if you have hoarded in the past, uh, it makes you feel less guilty about the past hoarding you may have done. So these are uh, the trio of cards. I also did a fourth one that I'll show you later. Um, but I wanted to just experiment um, with different feelings in each project. Um, the one on the left is a little bit more shabby. The one in the center, I tried to create a more casual feel. And the one on the right, uh, definitely a more elegant feeling. Um, all using stamps from the same set, SC0038 Hampton Art Art Warehouse, designed by Danelle Johnson. For the bloom card, the one in the center, I just, in order to create the casual feeling, I immediately reached for my craft card stock. And I simply um, put some rich cocoa dye ink onto that cherry blossom stamp and stamped it all over that um, craft piece. And um, then I used my Sizzix um, 3D, I believe it was 3D rolled um, flower dye, which I've been using quite a bit recently to uh, make that little bloom. And um, as you guys know, I love incorporating nature. Um, I found this beautiful leaf. It's similar, it's the same, it's from the same tree that I have gathered all the other leaves that I've used. But these were pink. And a couple of you had a question a while back about how well those leaves hold up. Uh, months later, the leaves that I gilded using my lacquered leaves technique are still in perfectly good condition. The only thing about cards like this is that they are fragile. Um, isn't that leaf gorgeous? The veining, the color, um, it just adds like a real warm feeling to the whole card front. Very simple. Um, I usually do um, a lot of business on the card front, 
Um, this does add dimension. It makes it a little bit delicate, and I'll, I'll confess to you, um, I made a little road trip to Los Angeles last weekend, and this was for my friend Terry's birthday, and I met with my great friend Jesse beforehand, and I didn't tell him he did this, but he actually sat on it. It was sitting in my car, and he sat on it. So the leaf broke. It was so sad. But um, Terry still loved it, and I had a great time celebrating with those guys. Um, I'm going to show you, actually, at the end of the video, a little um, crafting haul I did in the downtown fabric district in Los Angeles, which is just a haven for anyone with an artistic eye. There's so much to see at such good bargains, so I can't wait to show you that. So this next card, um, which was on the right in the trio, is um, my take on a more elegant card. I actually sent this, it has been a busy card making week. I sent this card to my Auntie Young soon in Florida. Um, she has a great appreciation for the cards that I make, so um, I try to make sure I get one to her for every occasion. Um, but I went ahead and I stamped that damask shape um, in a tuxedo black dye ink all along the bottom. And I just uh, cut a thin scalloped strip using my Fiskars uh, scallop edger punch. Love those edger punches. And um, uh, put that where you see it to um, sort of set it apart from the rest of the card. And do you see all that white space? That is so unlike me. And it was actually kind of hard for me to do it, to leave that white space there. Um, so I guess this is a, a little bit of my venturing into clean and simple style. I don't know if I've quite made it, but I like the final the final product. Um, I just stamped that bird in the top right to punctuate the white. And I just wanted to show you this uh, detail of the damask shape. Now there are other stamps out there that you know uh, have damask shapes. The nice thing about this one is it comes in a large set that includes other images that I also really like and sentiments that are appropriate for a variety of occasions. Um, so you guys know I'm on the design team for Hampton Art. I have to tell you, I took a long time selecting which stamps I wanted to use for my first quarter. And so I, you know, those are the reasons why I, I chose this one, um, because I really want my stamps to work for me and I want to use them for a long, long time to come. I love how those tiny little blooms at the top sort of spray out with those teardrop shapes um, and sort of point you in the direction of the sentiment. And um, I'll share with you today that it is also my birthday, May 11th, today. Um, I had a great breakfast at um, a local casino, uh, the Red Rock in Las Vegas. So it's, it's in, you know, frequented by locals, not by tourists. And they have this beautiful cafe in there, and my guy took me there, and we just enjoyed a wonderful meal together. I am truly blessed, um, and I, I think it's a great exercise to periodically count your blessings because we have so many things to be thankful for. Hey, who's that? <laughs> this is what we did for breakfast this morning at the casino that I just mentioned. I had... Crab cakes, Benedict, mm, 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 hash browns that were fluffy and just burnt enough. And um, I thought it would be nice to include this pic because I don't know if you guys ever do this, but once in a great while I will look at pictures of myself. And I've noticed recently that my face looks different. Um, of course, you know, we age and everything, but um, I have been living for the last year or so in a place of profound gratitude. And I can't tell you how much my heart swells and um, I'm so thankful for that. And um, I'm so thankful for the life I have. And so I noticed that my face is different. Um, there's definitely a, a joy there that I didn't see very often before. But I think that, you know, perhaps without the struggles that I've gone through, um, you know, and it's all relative, but without those struggles, I wouldn't really be able to appreciate where I am right now. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So when my man asked me where I wanted to go for breakfast, for my birthday breakfast, um, this place came up and I said, oh, that's where I want to go because for me, it is so much about the cup. Um, I don't know if that's because I'm like that because, actually, it's not because of my my experience with the Italian culture. I was like that before, before, before that. Um, but anyway, we had a great meal. Happy birthday to me. It's the big three nine for me. Um, and I blogged about it a little while ago. Some women freak out about getting to their 40s, hitting that big 4-0. Life just keeps getting better and better. So I'm, I'm psyched. I, I hated, like, kindergarten was great, but I hated everything after that. <laughs> so I'm psyched for 40. Okay, so back to the cards. This is, was the third card in my project my little experiment for exploiting the creative potential in your tools. Um, I used uh, Prima's Fairy Bell papers, which I adore. Um, I've been using Prima papers uh, often as of late, uh, and they really help me create the sense of romance that I love to include into my projects. Um, so this is Fairy Bell. I um, edge punched with a notebook edger for the bottom piece, and then I distressed a little bit with, uh, I believe, hmm, tea dye. I've been using tea dye quite a bit. Um, and there's a striped piece on the top. I used that sentiment from the same stamp set and a scroll um, design underneath that. Uh, there was some gray ribbon that I had from another venture to LA's fashion district. And I also, at that, on that same trip, I picked up a bunch of snaps, half the snap, a little bag of half snaps, just one side of the snap. And I was hoping I could find a way to use them because they've got a nice little radial um, grooved pattern all around. Um, so I've started using them in my projects. And I think they add like a funky feeling to the cards that um, I put them on. Um, and, and an interesting texture. So I'm glad. And th that bag was like 99 cents. Um, so if you're frugal, downtown, if you ever go to Los Angeles, downtown fabric district, I think I buy, well, I'll tell you more about that stuff when I show you my pictures from that the most recent trip. I also, some bark has, a lot of bark has been falling off our local trees. So I um, harvested some and I included that on this card for some interesting texture as well as one of the leaves I so dearly love. Here's a close-up of the scroll and the sentiment. And here's a close-up of the focal image. So these three cards were featured on Hampton Arts blog recently. I'll provide the link below. Um, so if you want to show me some love and support me over at Hampton Arts, Go on over there and poke around and subscribe to their feed. Um, they have a bunch of talented designers uh, with projects to show you almost every day. So um, it'll be a good source of inspiration. I'm definitely inspired by all the ladies on our team. So I decided to do a fourth project to post on my personal blog the same day that this particular Hampton Art blog posted. Um, it was supposed to supposed to be sort of a funkadelic grunge. That's what I called it. Um, I used this hibiscus type of flower. I clear, um, put some Versamark down on the stamp and stamped it down on a piece of white cardstock. Um, I put some clear embossing powder on and I set my heat gun on it just to reserve that and mask off um, my stamped image. After that, I went for my new Faber-Castell gelatos. I got a set of four in metallic colors. So this was one of the colors. I think it was like pink, blue, green, and purple. I smacked that down on there, and it, it comes out like a chapstick, um, a waxy chapstick. But it is water-soluble, so I smacked that down there. And then I went ahead and, and I kind of rubbed it in quite a bit because it was hard to get it into the little crevices. Um, and then I took my finger and just rubbed the color into the surface of the cardstock. So these gelatos have a real subtle sheen, 
but um, it was quite luxurious handling them. I also added some blue and some purple, and then I used a tissue to wipe the, surf the surfaces that I had masked off. And then I um, set it onto this um, card base that I had embossed with a embossing folder I had picked up from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio, and then I used my Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch to add some dimension um, all in white um, all around my card front. In retrospect, I think if I had done something different with the card front, it would have gone in that funkadelic grunge direction. Um, but I guess that wasn't my mood that particular day. I may just give it another try and really try to go for that funkadelic grunge and see what happens. Um, but yeah, so here you can see I was pleased with the final result, but I'm going to try it again because this is it's not what I intended. So I mentioned earlier in the video that I took a road trip to my old hood, Los Angeles, last weekend. Um, it was going to be a quick one because I had to go back to do to take care of some business. Um, but one of my, um, I really wanted to get to the downtown fashion district to stock up on a couple of things. Um, so I did make it there, and I got these buttons. If you end up going there ever, um, you can start out at Michael Levine, which is a big fabric store down there, and just sort of wander around a two-block radius from there, and there's just, there's so many goodies at really good prices. These buttons were a dollar a bag. The gems were also a dollar a bag, 99 cents. And I don't know if you can see the button in the forefront, that transparent red one. That reminds me of a throat lozenge, like, like a candy or something. Um, I can't wait to use that on a really fun, happy card um, and make that button the, the star. Um, I also picked up these rolls of ribbon in colors that I know I will need to use. So I got white, black, cream, um, one of my favorite olive green colors, a gold, pink. I also got some black and I think white or cream in a grow grain ribbon. Okay, this is a lot of ribbon. And each roll, this is a lot of ribbon. Each roll was about $2.99 or $3.99. Um, and, you know, I used some red ribbon that I had gotten for the last Christmas holiday. I've still got a ton of that, so that's going to last me a long time. I also picked up some trims. And these, I believe, I got at Michael Levine. I just went straight for the clearance table because um, I knew I would be able to find goodies over there. Um, so uh, I got a bunch of trims in some neutral colors. I also got some really ornate ones. Um, and I also picked up some a bag of different like lace scraps, uh, white, cream, black. That whole bag was 99 cents. Um, I spent a little bit more on that pink piece in the front because I got that at Michael Levine, which is like the more established um, store in that whole area. But I really liked this. I think this was like 250 a yard, so I just got a yard. Um, and I think that'll be great on some shabby projects. I also picked up, oh, Katerina, don't look. Katerina, don't look. <laughs> if you want to be surprised, don't look because some of that stuff in there is for you. I'm doing my first individual swap ever with Katerina, um, and she's in Europe, so I'm excited to see some things that I can't get over here from her, and I'm just about to send off a package of stuff to her, but she wanted seam binding, and I need to ask you, Katerina, what are you going to do with them? Are you going to make flowers? Um, I got some for myself just in case you end up making something that I want to try also. Michael Levine also had these rolls of tulle that I think will last me for a really long time. They were three fifty dollars each. So I think I walked away from downtown LA that one trip spending maybe $30 max on all that stuff. Whew. And it's going to last me a really long time. So I was very pleased about that. And that's it for my crafty haul. 
Um, the trip was bittersweet, a really good learning experience, um, and I have a blog post that I've been working on that should post in the next day or so. So if you want to hear more about those adventures, come visit me over on my blog at contadinak.wordpress.com. And until next time, uh, it was so nice visiting with you. I have another stamp set that I'm playing around with, so a video should post shortly with that project and perhaps a new tutorial. Um, I've been working on some mixed media techniques also, so um, hopefully I'll have something to share with you that's cool next time. Okay, thanks a lot.